Hi, I'm Myra Ferguson for Jar Productions, and in this video I'd like to show you how to export a custom page range. So when would you export a custom page range? Well, it's a handy way that you can export just a single page or a few pages from a document without having to export all of the pages. And that can be really handy if you have an especially long document. It can take some time to export it, and this will save you some time. What we don't really recommend is exporting a single page from a multi-page web document, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Let's take a look at how you'd export a custom page range. If you have a document like this with one layout, and you're ready to export, you can go to N5, Export HTML5 with N5, and in the basic section of the Export dialog, you'll see under Export Range that by default it's set to All Pages. Here's where you can click on the drop down menu and select custom. When you select custom, a field appears that you can click on and then enter a page or page range or specific pages. So, for instance, if I wanted just page two, I could just enter page two. If I wanted a page range, I would enter a dash and then a number. Or if I wanted specific pages, I could use a comma and then enter another page. If I just wanted to have one page, of a multi page document, I would come down to Output, change it to Multi Page Web, and then Export. You'll see that it's renamed it to the first page. And then if I open it up in the browser, you'll see that it exports with that page number. That's not going to be the page number that it would be in your actual document. So you could rename this page, but if you have links on this page, it could cause problems, so that's why we don't recommend it. Let's take a look at the responsive layout. If I come over to the responsive layout, you'll see that I have multiple layouts in this document. If I've met all the criteria for a responsive layout and go to N5, Export HTML5 with N5, you'll see that in the basic section of the export dialog under export range, that it's detected that I have a responsive layout and shows that as the export range. When I click on the drop down menu, you'll see that I could select all pages, which would export it as all the different layouts in one document, but without being responsive, or I could export a single layout at a time. Now, if I wanted to export just one page from the desktop layout, you see if I select desktop, it doesn't give me the option to enter a page number. So to do a custom export, I'm going to still need to go down and select custom. But I'll need to tell N5 that I want to select from the desktop layout. Then I'll add a colon and enter the page numbers. So if I just want page two, I'll enter page two, and this should look familiar. If I want a page range, I can enter a dash and then the final number, or I could enter a comma and then what other individual pages I want. Now, if I want a responsive layout and just check one page from it, I'll just give it that name too. So I'll start over here. I'll enter responsive, then add the colon, and then add the page number or page range or individual pages that I want. When I look at the export, I can check just this one page. I can resize it, see the desktop layout, see the iPad layout, and then get the phone layout. I hope that helps you save some time when you're testing your N5 exported content. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out N5 at n5.us, and if you like the video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching.